we're going to talk about changing numbers from standard form to expanded form. Right now the all these numbers are in standard form or number form and we are going to stretch them out and turn them into expanded form. And all we do there is put the value of each digit down. So right here I have the number 24. I start in the largest place that I have and that is with the 2 in the tens place. That 2 in the tens place is worth 20. So I have expanded that 2 to show its true value 20. And then I add it to what the ones place is worth. The 4, since it's in the ones place, is only worth a 4. So 24 in expanded form is 20 plus 4. Same thing with 17. Start with the largest place value I have, and that's the tens place. I have 110, so that 1 is worth 10. And I add it on to what the ones place is worth. There's a 7 in the ones place, so the ones place is worth 7. 85. An 8 in the tens place, that 8 is worth 80. And the 5 in the ones place is worth 5. 85 in its expanded form is 80 plus 5. Now this, one, this next one, 30, I do it the same way. The first digit there, the highest place value I have, is a 3 in the tens place. That 3 will be worth 30. And I'm still going to add my ones place. My ones place is zero, which means it, it's not worth anything in the ones place, and I still want to add that because I want to keep the same pattern. If I start with two digits in my standard form number, I want my pattern in my expanded form number to go two digits, then one digit, two digit, digits, then one digit, two digits, then one digit, two digits, then one digit. And my last one down here, 22, when I expand that, the 2 in the tens place is worth 20, and I add it to the 2 in the ones place is worth 2. So 22 in its expanded form is 20 plus 2. And they are both equal. To, they are both equal. 22 equals 20 plus 2, because 20 plus 2 equals 22, which is what our standard form number started out as.